Elena Viva, tenho conseguido Três, eu conheço de fora Tu é o meu menino, não Ah, então não What do you do? I don't want one of them.
This one's strong. Be careful. All right, yeah, gunning for you. All right, I'm cutting in. Yeah. My duty calls. My turn. Very well. Ha. Predictable. Back at you. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. I can manage without your help. It's my turn! Roar! <sighs> Healing strike! Now! You're wide open! All right! Yeah. There! An opening! My duty calls. Let's go. Uh, there. Moving out. Same thing. Yeah. We're low on time. Let's move. All right. Got it. That's how it's done. I must train even more. Let's get going.
at the shrine. Oh my god. This place is a total bust. Sick dog. Hey there. Good to see you, Schwarzer. Real shame you guys came all this way for nothing, though. Huh. Go ahead. Take a gander. That's right. What we got here is the Draco Shrine, one of the sites for the rivalries. But the little subspace inside it got transported away just yesterday. I got the word from Albrecht and came to see it for myself. Truth be told, I didn't think they could just up and move the whole damn place either. Figured I'd come and check just in case. Sure enough. Good. Looks like it worked. We meet again, everyone. Hm. Far sooner than expected, too. I, the Severing Eclipse, am assisting the Reinford Company in their experiments on the Society's behalf. It is only a temporary arrangement, I assure you. That's exactly right. For a our client sent us a last-minute request to build a magic barrier generator. We incorporated some technology from the Society in our design as well, courtesy of Miss Croix. Integrating magic and science together was bothersome, to say the least, if ultimately fruitful. Albrecht doesn't sound too wild about getting the rivalries going just yet. So... Looks like I'll just be warming the bench till D-Day shows up. <laughs> but I'm always up for throwing down ahead of time. All you gotta do is get past the barrier. Good luck. You're welcome to try and infiltrate our ship, if you so wish. But you should be aware. We have defense systems in place to address any wrongful entries. If you attempt to enter, you had best tread lightly, lest you find yourselves eclipsed. My combat shell and I will be ready to face you as well. I'll say it again. Don't expect any mercy from me. As for me, I will be merely watching from the sidelines. Let's hope the final keep trial wasn't all you're capable of. I shall be looking forward to seeing how far beyond it you can go. Good luck.
that sound? They're here. Look, isn't that... What? The crimson wings. They really did build another one. Tricia, prepare to intercept. R right, let's go, Emily. It's about as rough up here as I thought it'd be. And this is just them saying hello. If we can't find an opening, we'll have to make our own. We'll leave it to you. You got this, Crow? Hell yeah! Come on, Ordeen. Let's show them how it's done. Of course. Azure Knight? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so he really was alive. Damn, we are taking a real beating here. Open her up! Let's make this baby fly! But, but shouldn't we fire back? Absolutely not. Focus all your efforts on evasive maneuvers until I say otherwise. Toa, have you found us a way in? Yes. There's a blind spot right around the ship's hold. Make your way over to the coordinates I just sent you. Roger that. Let's go, Valimar! Emma! Muse! I'm gonna need your help here, too! Activating Spirit Path! Infiltration of enemy aircraft confirmed. Operation successful! Nice. It's all on you now, Reen. Tell Jellica to save a punch for me. Now it's our turn. Prepare to strike. Leave those anti-aircraft cannons useless. Yes! Finally, I get to shoot something! Do whatever it takes to get their bridges' attention. All right, fellas, the chips are down. I'm going all in, so you guys had best keep up. We're right behind you, Crow. This one's strong. Be careful! Sorry! Leave it to me. Prepare yourself! Ha! Shatter! It's down! An opening! Not on my watch! It's my turn! Second form? Damn! Let's go! Tag out! I'm up!
Hey, you! Rest in peace! I got this! Lightning, charge me up! I got this! This one's on the house. Here's our chance. Everyone in one. Leave it to me. Yeah. Very well. I got this. It's down. Take this. Let's go. Now! It's mine! Yeah! Yeah! Ha! Suppression complete! Good work, everyone! Good work. Good work! Yeah, just like that. Diligence is its own reward. Uh -huh. I did it. <laughs> I grew a little. Good job. Good. The hold is the same as on the Pantagruel. The two ships must be based on the same design. Kind of. It has the same speed and mobility as a Pantagruel, but the gargantuous firepower and armor are completely new. Whoa! Get a load of all those Zalber soldats. Well, it is a cutting-edge battleship. Nothing but the best, right? As long as they're inactive, we've got no reason to engage them. Let's move on. My turn. Strike. Damn it. Sure. I'll leave it to you. I suppose I must. Yeah! I'm up! Crimson Slash! <laughs> Not today! Let's go! Sure. You're mine! Ha! It's 
my turn! Second form, damn! This is the Blade of the Eight Leaves. Oh boy. Woohoo! 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 A powerful foe. Just my style. Her birthday. Looks like we hit the jackpot. On guard. It's strong. Well, shall we? I'm only just getting started. Prism Caliber. I'm up. My turn. Yeah. Sure. Very well. Huh. It's my turn. Huh. Now it's mine. My turn. You're mine. Yeah. Too slow. Let's go. It's mine! This is the end! My duty calls! Ha! That is the power of Dubily the Swift! <laughs> I, uh, I did it! So uh, long with the gun, man! Be wary. That foe is fearsome. I know. I knew you'd be coming, Elisa. 
seems we chose the right spot to guard. Who are you? <laughs> you all seem so shocked. Though I suppose it has been some time since we've seen each other. And for those I haven't met, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Teresia Caroline, second lieutenant in the third air fleet of the Imperial Army. And my name's uh. Emily. I'm also a second lieutenant. Both of us mm. used to be in the lacrosse club with Elisa. Mm. They called me the Blazing Maiden. Cool, huh? <laughs> okay, Elisa, no holding back now. You too, Angelica. Get ready. Let's do it! Leave it to me! My turn. There. Wait. Yes. Let's go!
<laughs> Not bad. No when I'm beat. I'll go my own way. That's all there is to it. We're near the stern. The barrier generator should be all the way at the far back. This section must correspond with the VIP area on the Pantagruel. There's still a bit further to go. Let's not waste any time. Yeah, can't keep the Courageous Two waiting too long. It's a bit cramped. A bit? No. A powerful foe. Just my style. Boy. Let's go. My turn. Very well. Let's go. Sit. I can't afford to lose. Looks like a toughie. Stay on your toes. Ready. Is fearsome. A worthy foe. Be on your guard. 
Not today! Death coming at you full force! You ready for this? Dragon Kick! Here I go! My turn. Uh, my turn. I can manage That's... without your help. Thanks. to me <sighs> yeah! let's go roar <sighs> hail strike it's down let's go everyone understood Let's go. It's down. It's mine. My turn. Got a little something for you. Bullseye. Rah, let's keep moving. I must train even more. <laughs> nice. Diligence is its own reward. Yeah, just like that. Uh, I did it. <laughs> I grew a little. Woohoo! Hello there, fight you guys. How are we gonna fight Mother you guys? Sharon. Professor Schmidt, too. And. Looks like we finally hit the end of the line. As I suspected, the courageous was just a diversion. I warned you more than once, didn't I? Yet you seem determined to get yourselves killed. Telling me no? only makes it all the harder for me to resist. You of all people should know that by now. And here I was thinking this was an invitation between old friends. <laughs> then you're a fool. You should have just forgotten all about me and stayed away. <laughs> Truth be told, I'm not actually sure what you stand to gain by siding with them, Professor. Is your research so important to you that you can't tell right from wrong? That you'd stoop to working with the gnomes? I don't recall siding with anyone. I work only for the sake of my research. Those barrier generators were Whatever. incidental busy work at best. 
I have already evaluated the results of my second and fourth disciples. This was a good chance to see the works of my first and third as well. Their results? The third disciple is George, and the first one was... <sighs> Mother, what is this all about? Why are you working with the Black Workshop? Why are you helping... helping him? Observing the results of our product's field tests is part of our standard contract. I don't care. Beyond that, well, a smart girl like you should be able to figure out the rest. Now then, Miss Kruger. As per my contract, I, the Severing Eclipse, am obligated to restrain you. I will not allow you to lay even one finger upon Chairman Arena. Nor her generators. Damn. Sharon. Arena, enough of this nonsense. Quinn. Grandfather. They must have patched him in from the Courageous too. Right you are. You can thank Toa for helping me with that. Arena, what kind of mother are you? That's your daughter there. And you, Sharon, quit being so damn stubborn. And as for you, Schmidt, you finally crossed the line, you self-centered old goat. I believe it is for the Institute of Technology, not you, to decide what limitations I must abide by. This battleship... And all its trial runs constitute an official contractual agreement between the Imperial Government and the Reinfurt Group. I've taken the situation into consideration, and it happens to line up with our company policies, I so I fire. see no issues. Should you disagree, ex-chairman, you may bring it up as a subject of discussion at our next board meeting. Bah! There you go, hiding behind all your bureaucratic nonsense again. Perhaps you'd best save your father-daughter squabbles for behind closed doors. We have other things to focus on at the moment. <sighs> Black Alberic. Hm. So you finally decided to show your face. Well, I'd only intended on making a routine check of the ship, but it seems some vermin have scuttled aboard. It would appear the Radiant Wings simply can't stop themselves from pursuing utterly futile endeavors. Nobody asked you. Man, you would have been one hell of a silver fox if it weren't for those cold, emotionless eyes of yours. I didn't want to believe it, but it really is you, Franz. Why, of course it is, my dear father-in-law. Not the most ideal of family reunions, but a joyous one still, to me at least. Not me. <laughs> Liar! What happened to Franz being just a fleeting version of you? You said so yourself in the crawl! Oh, did I? <laughs> Perhaps so. Nevertheless, I've retained the memories of my life as Franz Reinford. Further, Irina has given her full approval to the Black Workshop's mission statement. Together, wow. we will create a wow. new world order. Yes, wow. <sighs> yes, a new wow. world order? What the hell does that even mean? You're referring to the Genesis that will follow the Great Twilight, aren't you? Indeed. This continent is nearing its end. The Great One's revival is imminent. The hellfire of war and destruction will roll across the land, ushering the world into another dark age. An era of tumult and chaos, just like what occurred 1200 years ago following the Great Collapse. What then do you suppose the world will need? A goddess? I think not. No. Professor, what? surely you know the answer. Technology Peace. 
without question. Please. Technology will be the cornerstone for the world's restoration. It will work far faster than the church could ever hope to. Bishops and cardinals will become obsolete, only to be replaced by engineers and scientists. So that's what you're planning? You're trying to remake the world? All to become its new gods? Goodness, no. We would merely act as servants of the one true god. Wow. I know that. Though, we would certainly be better custodians of the world than the Septian Church. It should be simple, really, given the combined technological prowess of the Gnomes, the Thirteen Factories, and the Reinford Group. Chairman Irina understands this. Even as the world nears its end, she seeks the most logical path as Chairman of the Reinford Group. Franz, Irina, what happened to you? All of this runs completely counter to anything I would have expected. No, this can't be true. The mother I know would never support a plan like this. Oh, and what do you know, child? I can I understand you want to believe in your mother. You're wrong. It's not about that. We already know the full truth. The truth that you, Black Albrick, are nothing more than a soul held hostage by its master. That's right. We also know that this whole thing is nothing more than the Ebon Knight's plan to become the Great One. To him, the Great Twilight is not the means, but the goal. What would happen after the end of the world, were there even to be one, is not his concern at all. Right. There's no merit to the Reinford group going along with your delusions. So I know for a fact that she'd never do something as stupid as making a deal with you. Hmm. Elisa. Well, of course I wouldn't. I signed off on a deal stipulating the production and testing of weapons and devices. Not assisting with the end of the world. Though I do admit to feeling a little sentimental at the start. Mother! <laughs> I'm here simply because it was the perfect opportunity to observe this battleship's field test. Doing so allows me to chart RF's best course of action, to scout out any promising new talent, and to see just what it is my former maid plans to do now that she's thrown aside the name I gave her. Chairman Irina. <sighs> Irina Reinford. Since we're on the topic, George, you're just as bad. You act as though you're a member of the Gnomes, but don't think I haven't noticed your painful lack of conviction. I... While Makarov and Tita progress in bounds, you, my third disciple, seem quite comfortable in that rut you're in. Where, pray tell, is the resolve I saw in you when I first took you under my tutelage? Hmm? Now is the time for you to show me. Professor. Ha! I'd like to see it too. Whether you face us as Georg or George is up to you. We'll take you on either way. You've always been a part of our family, Sharon. That much hasn't changed. I'm not giving up until you realize just how much you mean to me. Lady Elisa. <clears throat> Fine. If you want to see my resolve, then I'll show you. I'm done holding back, Angie! I will face you with everything I have. I suspect neither of you would be satisfied otherwise. As you wish. I've waited four whole years for this one. Time to finally settle the score. Personally, I don't care which of you wins. 
All I ask is that you show me your full potential. We will be watching with the utmost scrutiny. Of that, you can be sure. Elisa, Angelica, we're with you on this. Ready to move at your signal. <laughs> All right, time to kick some ass. The Severing Eclipse, a worthy opponent indeed. You asked for it, Angie. Let's finish this! It all ends here, Lady Elisa. My turn. Behold, the dual blades of Vander. Now, huh, uh, I'll end it. Ha! Ragna, strike! <laughs> My turn. I got this. Now, let's dance. Ha! I ain't done with you yet. Billio Raid! <laughs> Sweet dreams. Not over yet! Let's go! <sighs> Alright! Time to go all out! Very well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go. Arcus, activate. Khaled Bulk, activate. Not today! Yeah. Not on my watch! I am bound by my chains! No yeah. Not today! Uh. Impossible! My turn! Ha! 
Thanks. I'm up. Ha! <laughs> Thanks. It's my turn! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks. Crummer Cannon, fire! Sure. Collecting data. My turn. Tag out. Leave it to me. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks. Go. I mustn't falter. Today. <laughs> Very well. performance. I'm up! Is this it for me? I can't afford to lose. Oh. My... Got it! I must train even more. <laughs> nice! Diligence is its own reward! <laughs> I grew a little! Uh, I did it! Yeah, just like... Woohoo!
Pong, yeah. <sighs> Looks like it's over. <sighs> yeah. I think we got our point across. <sighs> Why did I? Hmm. So even to the end, you couldn't pull the trigger. <laughs> Why don't you just admit it already? No matter how much you try to get rid of him, George still lives on, somewhere deep inside you. Or maybe... You just couldn't bring yourself to throw away all those days you spent pretending to be our friend. You can call it a character you were playing, or a dream, but we all know the life you lived as our friend was real. Not that it was so bad. It was as if I'd become a character in a story. I played my role, going to school, making friends, unaware that I'd been regularly reporting back to the workshop the entire time. But honestly, it wasn't that bad, considering it was just a dream. <sighs> George! Angie! Are you alright? Sheesh. What are we gonna do with you? So, how you doing? Just thought I'd drop you guys a call from Ordeen. We've stopped half of their anti-aircraft cannons. We should be able to reach you soon. So please, wait for us, George. Toa. Crow. I never expected you to be able to bring light back to this eclipse. You've grown into a most remarkable fighter, Lady Elisa. Like I said, I'll do whatever I must to bring you back, as many times as it takes. Because that's what family does for each other. You get it now, don't you, Sharon? Of course. Your words have pierced me, straight and true. To the point where I regret that my contract was ever completed. Sharon. <laughs> my, my. I expected a better performance from an Enforcer. You as well, Georg. <sighs> no matter. Irina, return to- That's Chairman to you. The only people in this world allowed to address me like that are my father. And the man I love. Franz's return was the condition for our contract to end. But after listening to this madman's delusions, it's questionable whether those conditions have truly been met. The contract, therefore, remains valid. You may choose whether or not you remain under my employment. <sighs> Mother! Oh, Irina. You always throw me for a loop. I'm so glad. Man, for an all-in-one super maid, you really made a mess this time. <laughs> so be it. If we're all done here, I may as well commence the final experiment. I hereby present to you my capstone project. My masterwork which will hasten the Great Twilight's completion. What? Something's coming! One of the Society's Ions! No! Is he really gonna unleash that thing here? Ah, I see. The one produced by the 5th Development Division. So this is your capstone project. Behold, the ultimate model in the Zauber Soldat line. Once the Empire absorbs every last bit of the Republic, these machines will cover the entire continent. Though they may be autonomous robots, there is no limit to the power they can output. Panzer Soldats and Divine Knights cannot compare. 
Damn! How do you manage to keep something like this a secret? The ultimate culmination in Panzer Soldat technology. Very interesting indeed. Instructor! Right. Heed my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! How's my leech? Damn, this thing's a friggin' monster! No matter how much power that thing has, it's still unmanned! Let's do this! Right behind you, Instructor! I swear on the Vander name, we will defeat it! It's my turn! Now, bring it on! Yes! Azure wings! Shoot! Let's go! I've got you! I got this. Ha! <laughs> it's my turn. Yeah! Huh. It's my turn! Sure. Ha! It's my turn. This will get a bit spicy. It's my turn! It's my turn! Spirit! Yes! This will get a bit spicy! Fire! My turn! Oh my god! <laughs> ah! 
I'm up. Ow. Got it. Uh. What the hell is it doing? Georg, what have you done? Wow. Oh, it disappeared. Boss, does this mean... Yeah, looks like they pulled it off. Our turn's coming up next. You two had best get your asses in gear. Yeah. 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 We've confirmed the barrier is offline. <sighs> the Zalber Soldat is down for the count, too. Sounds like mission accomplished to me. It was a marvelous feat of engineering, but not quite the weapon you claimed it to be. Using the Great Twilight to grant it autonomy was impressive, I'll concede, but its tendency to lose control makes it impractical for use. In the end, Franz's Panzer Soldat designs surpass it by far. Failing marks. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you pale in comparison to my first disciple. Schmidt. Professor. Leave it to this old badger to really lay into him. <laughs> oh. 
Fine. I'll yield for now. Your victory here changes nothing after all. And the end result will be the same, no matter who wins the coming rivalry. One way or another, you will fulfill your role as the sacrifice, Reen. Sorry, but I don't intend to meet your expectations. I'll win the rivalries, but on my own terms. And once I do, I'm coming for your master. Oh, will you now? I'll be looking forward to it. Georg, I'm very disappointed in you. The Black Workshop no longer requires your service. Where you go from here makes no difference to me. No, by them. George. Sharon, are you okay? There is no need for concern, my lady. I am no worse for the wear. I see you still intend to call me by that name. <laughs> That's the only name I've ever known you by. I... No. We all see you as part of our family. Me, mother, and grandfather alike. And thanks for keeping mother safe. Uh -huh. Certainly, my lady. I take it you've made your decision then. The Franz I married has not returned. A part of me knew that from the very start. Therefore, our contract is still in effect. It seems you'll have to continue your service a while longer. I trust you have no issue with this, Sharon? It would be my greatest pleasure, Madam Chairman. I, Sharon Kruger, shall remain in your services for as long as you require. Oh, Sharon. Aww. Stubborn to the very end, that daughter of mine. Always taking the long route home. But I'm happy we're a family once more. Yeah, me too. George! Stop! Don't do it! I finally got you, George. Where exactly did you think you were going, all on your own? You should know. I've already burned all my bridges. Where else could I possibly go? Everyone Georg has hurt. All that I've destroyed. None of it can be taken back or forgiven. And? So what? The world's about to end. Look at Crow. His time's running out even as we speak. You want to bow out now? While you still have the chance to make things right? But... As a Jaeger, I took more lives than I can count. It doesn't matter that I did it for the sake of my home. A life is still a life. And that weight stays with you forever. But I know you're strong enough to carry the weight of your own mistakes. She's right. I mean, remember all that crap I pulled as C? I was a freaking terrorist, for crying out loud. I'm not hoping to be forgiven. My past weighs heavy on my conscience. But that's just something I gotta live with. George, I won't ever forgive you if you try to leave us like that again. Even if I have to use force to make you do it, I'll... I'll make sure you carry your burden, because I'm your friend! 
Crow. Toa. Not to mention, your intel and experience as a gnome is highly valuable. And you know things about my lord that I'd be curious to learn. See? There are still things you can do. You owe us that much. So please, don't give up on yourself. You're not finished yet. You guys... Their argument makes sense. You should take it under consideration, Third Disciple. You can find a better use for your life than tossing it away. Consider it my final test for you. Thank you, Professor. I will accept that task. George. I'll be in touch. And when I return, I promise I'll make myself useful. As a member of the Gnomes. But more importantly, as a graduate of Thor's. And please tell Prince Oliver and the others that I'm sorry. Tell my Indian and jump off of the cliff. How about that? Everyone, I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. Oh, man. As Sharon, a humble servant of the Reinford family, please allow me to join you. No. No thanks. No more again. So I will say it. This is 